The big question, is Origami Yoda real? Well, I mean, of course he's real. He's a real finger puppet of a real piece of paper. But I mean, is he real? Does he really know things? Can he see the future? Does he use the force? Or is he just a big hoax to fool a bunch of us kids at McCombs Middle School? It's really important for me to figure out whether he's real or not. Because I've got to decide whether to take his advice or not. If I make the wrong choice, I'm doomed. Oh yeah, one thing I almost forgot about. Dwight. Dwight is the guy who carries Origami Yoda around on his finger. The strangest thing about Origami Yoda is that he is so wise even though Dwight is a total loser. I'm not saying it as an insult, it's just a fact. Dwight never seems to do anything right. Always in trouble. Always getting harassed by other kids. Always picking his nose. Always finding a way to ruin it for everyone, as the teachers say. If he would just listen to Origami Yoda's wisdom, like the rest of us, he would have made it. Anyways, this short film is about the day I met Origami Yoda. Please pay close attention because I'm going to want to know what you think. Is Origami Yoda for real? My day started out like any other day when suddenly the unexpected happened. begin to hide your pee stain. <laughs> Lance! You saw this isn't a pee stain, right? It's just more cozy. Yeah, I saw that, but man, it totally does look like pee pants. You'll tell people the truth, right? What yeah. am I supposed to do? Follow you around and tell people? It's not pee! It looks exactly like pee, though. Mm. Hey, Lance! Can you run to class and get the, my coat? I think it's... Uh... No time, dude. I'd never make your parents happy one minute. Speaking of, we got about 40 seconds. Good luck! Oh, come on. I look like I peed my pants. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Look at my pants, Dwight. You got any ideas? I'm getting the idea that you peed your pants. No, I didn't. And I meant, do you have any ideas to help me? No, but Yoda might. Whatever.
so maybe I could do, get my sweatpants and wear that for the rest of the day. This is crazy. Her, we're gonna be like the class. Okay, so we have our function f of x is equal to 4x plus 5. And what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate that for the input of 2. So what we do now is we replace the x with the 2. So this becomes 4 times 2 plus 5. Okay. So with this, all we do now is our order of operations. We look, we see we have to multiply the 4 times the 2 and then add the 5. So f of 2 is equal to 4 times 2 is 8 plus the 5. And then we finish by adding the 8 plus 5, which we all know is 13. So with an input of 2, our output is 13. Okay? So now, moving on, now we're going to evaluate the same function for a different input, f of 4. So here, we start out by writing the original function. f of x is equal to 4x plus 5. And this time our Should I even ask why you're wet, Kellen? It worked. Everybody wondered why Kellen was wet, but the important thing was that he didn't get sent to the office for being late. He didn't lose his PlayStation because he never got detention, and nobody thought he peed his pants. That's when I knew that origami yoda is for real, man. He told the Jedi wise. I agree that the solution was not perfect, but it's better than anything I can think of. I think it was pretty good advice, and probably better than anything Dwight would ever come up with. That's when it really blows my mind. Dwight can barely function. He walks around the school with his shoes untied and his hair uncombed. He's always getting bad grades and getting sent to the office for being late or falling asleep in class or whatever. If you asked him for his advice, it'd be terrible. But if you asked for Yoda's advice, you get something great. That's how come I think Oregon Yoda might be for real. For instance, this next story is about kickball. Next period was PE, and the two worst kickball players in our PE class, and maybe in the whole world, are Dwight and Caroline. So how come Yoda, Dwight, was able to give Caroline such great advice? Ever since the first grade, we have all been playing kickball, and ever since the first grade, Caroline has never been able to kick the ball. The best she's ever done was maybe a little boop, and that would go straight to the jerk pitcher, who would throw it to the jerk first base for an easy out. I may as well tell you that Caroline would always cry afterwards. Everybody in school already knows. They look like boo-hoo tears, but she insists that they're more like angry tears. She always believed that if she could get a hit, or maybe even a home run, everyone would forget about the strikeouts and the crying. Well, here's what happened instead. This will be the one. I'll show them. I'll blast it down their throats. Strike one! Strike two! Strike first grade, but it is now a, a really big deal. No. Everybody knows no, he has the kid who cries during PE, and that's not good. You're just like very you long. wish home run to it. Why? Get lost, dork! Home run to it. Why? Whoa! 
Well, I mean, I, I want to win, right? That's why you play a game, isn't it? I mean, I want to be a hero for once, right? I, I'm tired of always striking out. I mean, they hardly even pay attention when I get my turn. And they all think they're so great just because they can hit the ball or catch it when it comes to them. They're always shouting stuff at me, bossing me around. I'm sick of it. I mean, you feel the same way, right? You're tired of Tater Tot and all those other jocks always winning too, right? I'd love to show them they aren't better than me. <laughs> better than you they are. Hey, shut up! You're a jerk, Dwight. Yoda's not finished! Leave me alone! Mm. Let go of your feelings, Caroline. Hate and revenge to the dark side only me. It was the strangest thing. After a few minutes, Caroline dried her tears, stood up, and walked back into the gym with a look of determination in her eyes I've never seen before. As she stood up to kick, the first ball was right past her. She didn't even have time to think. Later, Caroline told me that at about this moment, she remembered what Yoda said about letting go of her feelings. Maybe Yoda was right. Maybe if she could clear her brain of thinking about how much she hated kickball, then the dark side of the force would go away and the good side of the force would help her kick the ball the same way it helped Luke blow up the Death Star. Another ball went by. Strike two! When the next pitch came, it was like a tiny voice in Caroline's head said, kick. Was it Yoda's voice? She kicked. What happened? Had I misunderstood Yoda? Was Dwight just full of crap? Was his Yoda puppet just some kind of pointless joke? Well? Mmm, cry you did not. He was right. Caroline didn't cry. She hadn't made a fool of herself for once. Yoda was right. Guys like Tater Tot really are better than me at kickball. So I hate him. And why cry about it? Yoda's point was that there are more important things than home runs. Which is good for me, <laughs> because I've never hit one either. <sighs> well, there you have it. I am still not sure whether to take Yoda's advice. I don't want to get into it all right now, but let's just say it's about this really cool girl, <sighs> Sarah. And whether or not I should risk making a total fool of myself for her. Or how Yoda says to do it. But if he's wrong, <sighs> total humiliation. Anyway, I've got a lot to think about. Is Origami Yoda real or isn't he? The big question, is Origami Yoda real? Well, I mean, of course he's real. He's a real finger puppet made out of a real piece of paper. But I mean, is he real? Does he really know things? Can he see the future? Does he use the force? Or is he just a hoax that fooled a bunch of us at McComb's Middle School? It's really important for me to figure out if he's real or not, because I need to decide whether to take his advice. And if I make the wrong decision, I'm doomed. Oh yeah, one more thing I almost forgot to talk about. Dwight. Dwight is a guy who carries around origami Yoda on his finger. 
The strangest thing about Origami Oda is that he's so wise, even though Dwight is a total loser. I'm not saying that as an insult, it's just a fact. Dwight never seems to do anything right, always in trouble. Always getting harassed by other kids, always picking his nose, always finds a way to ruin it for everyone, as the teacher says. If he would just listen to Origami Yoda's wisdom like the rest of us, he would have made it. Anyway, this short film is about the day I met Origami Yoda. Please pay close attention because I'm going to want to know what you think. Is Origami Yoda for real? any other day, but when suddenly, the unexpected happened. We went on this field trip to the Civic Center and we saw this vending machine next to the backstage curtain during a tour. Mr. Howe had told us, Don't get anything from the refreshment stand or the snack carts. But he hadn't said anything about the vending machines. So we all ran over to the machine and Cassie got there first. It was her last two dollars and was afraid that somebody would push her out of the way. So she put her money in as fast as she could. Stop, Cassie, everyone. When I said that we were not gonna buy anything from the refreshment stand or the snack carts, you should have known that that would have meant the vending machines as well. But Mr. Howell, I already put in two whole dollars and I haven't even pressed the button yet. Good grief, Cassie. Can you push the coin return button? I did, but nothing happened. All right, <laughs> go ahead and get something, Cassie. But that's it. I mean it. Nobody else. This is a big waste of money. That's why I didn't want people buying food. So ever since people have been real mean to Cassie and calling her Cheeto Hog, later that day in math class. to an assembly, you know the rules. No food in the auditorium. I'll get in huge trouble. Better even drop batteries. But I can't do that, can I? Is there even an assembly today? class, Cassie did the only thing she could think to do. Sure, her best idea came from a finger puppet, but it was the only idea she had. 
She decided she would do whatever it took to wake up from the Cheeto Hog nightmare. Hey, thanks for meeting with me. Sure, what can I do? Well, everyone knows you have a knack at getting things. Shh! I don't know what you're talking about. Rondella, stop it. I need a favor and I need it fast. I need you to get as many bags of Cheetos as you can by the end of lunch today. Today? Yes, today. I need you to get as many bags of Cheetos as you can get by the end of lunch today. Can you help? It's not going to be easy. You're not giving me much time. I'm not a miracle worker. It's extremely important. I'll do what I can. No promises. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Here's everything I have. It's the $21 my grandma sent me for my birthday. Thank you, Grandma. Mr. Clean and Sophie, give a round of welcome. Speed, you must have. You could just give me my bag now. Wait, you must. Yoda said wait, so get. Mr. Sophie. And I hear you're going to do it in song. Why, yes I am! Oh, really? Can I hear it? Do you want to hear it, boys and girls? No! I don't think they're excited enough yet. All right, who wants to hear me sing? Woo! I do! Well, that sounds great! Here we go! I think you should wash your hands when you go to the party. Dobson! Cassie spent the rest of the day in the office. Principal Rowski told her she had embarrassed the school and insulted Mr. Good Clean Fun. She wrote a note that she had to take home and get signed by her parents and had to write a five-page report about keeping clean and a letter of apology to Mr. Good Clean Fun. I heard later that most of the Cheetos did get thrown away, but it was worth it to Cassie. Almost nobody ever called her Cheeto Hog anymore. Well, there you have it. I'm still not sure if I should take Yoda's advice. I don't want to get into it all right now, but let's just say it's about this really cool boy, Tommy. And whether or not I should risk making a fool of myself for him. Origami Yoda says to do it, but if he's wrong. Total humiliation. Well, I got a lot to think about. Is Origami Yoda real or isn't he? Well, it's me, Mr. Soapy, and Mr. Clean. How you doing, Soapy? Mwah! <laughs> Alistair, this is so much fun. Yeah, for you. <laughs> you, laughing first. Okay. Here we go. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around with Toby? It's not me. Okay, hold on. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
But can't good grief, can't you just hit the coin return button? Quit smiling at me. <laughs> okay, you can do it again and you can talk okay. because no offense, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no love life. All right, go ahead. Here we go. I think you should wash your hands when you go to the potty. Wash your hands when you go to the potty. Potty, 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 Hey, hey, hey.